friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am so excited, you guys. I have a Dollar Tree Neutral Farmhouse Christmas DIY for you. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely stick around. Don't forget to click that red subscribe button. Then you just tap the bell and all, that way you're notified every single time I upload. That way you don't miss another Dollar Tree moment. I also do lots of giveaways on my channel and just budget-friendly DIYs. Some are budget-friendly, some are not so budget-friendly, but we do all things crafty here and I hope that you guys will join us. So with all that being said, I wanna thank StoryWorth for sponsoring today's video. I'll talk about them in just a little bit. Please stay tuned, you guys. I'm so excited to tell you guys about this company and let's jump into today's DIY. Okay guys, so for this project, you're gonna need two pieces of foam board all together. And with the first piece of foam board, I measure out where the middle is and mark that. I then take my Cricut ruler, and I don't really know what exactly this is called, but it just has a really, really nice straight edge on it. So that's why I always like using this, but I just go on either side of where I marked right in the middle and I draw lines down the sides in the shape of a Christmas tree and then a line across the bottom. I then take my hot knife that I got from Walmart. I let that uh, warm up really nicely and then once it was warmed up for about 10 minutes, then I go ahead and I cut my tree out. Now, if you have never used a hot knife before, I just want to encourage you to be very careful when you're using this. The cord is very tight, so I definitely suggest to use an extension cord. And when you're working with it, instead of using the tool and like pressing down, let the tool do all of the work for you. So I hope that helps somebody. Um, I did just want to let you guys know that little tip that I had learned along the way, or a couple tips, I should say. Um, but once I had the first tree cut out, then I take it on the foam board. I turn the foam board to the side and then mark a tree Basically, that would fit from the top to the bottom, and then I flipped it to the side and did the same exact thing, but a little bit bigger, and then I just went down the sides of this one to make it kind of like a different shape tree, and you guys, I'm no artist. I There was no rhyme or reason. I just kind of free-handed it as best as I could. I tried to get it as evenly as possible on either side um, as well. So just do the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. In the end, you don't even really see that either side isn't perfect anyway. So I personally like the rustic look. Um, so definitely do this, you guys. I know sometimes you guys get discouraged, but I am encouraging you guys today. If this intimidates you, step out of your comfort zone. You got this, you guys. It's super easy, I promise. And I know that you can do it as well. So once I had all of my shapes cut out and then I had them all roughed up, I go in with this natural bath sponge from Dollar Tree. I cut them down in fours and I take this plate from Dollar Tree as well with some of my clear wax by Waverly as well as my antique wax and I dab my sponge in both of them. So I start off with the clear wax. I then go in with the antique wax and then I go to my foam board and just kind of put some lines in the foam board and then I go into the knots and then I let that sit for a few minutes. I then come back to it and once it's set up, then I go back into the knots again. I dab if I need some more and I just kind of spread out that antique wax. Now, sometimes I do streaks. Sometimes I kind of, um, you know, go a little bit harder in that spot. Um, it, it just depends. So what I'm going to do here is you guys, I'm going to let this play because I want you guys to see how I do this. Now, 
the first person I have seen do this, um, I, actually I don't know the first person, but I know the person who is kind of like famous for this technique is Sarah from the Peppermint Cactus. So if you have not seen her, you guys check her out. Um, if you think this is cool, you have not seen anything yet. Her stuff is amazing. I wish I could get mine to look like that, but I just do the best I can um, the way that I feel comfortable doing it. So I would also suggest to do it the way that you feel comfortable as well. So with all that being said, I did put a little bit of my Ink Waverly chalk paint on my little plate and every so often I just dab my sponge in the end of the black. Um, now I think people do this part a little bit differently, but I like to do it this way because I like the look that this gives. So again, um, if you don't like the look that this gives, then maybe try to use the ink on a different sponge with some wax. Um, so like I said, just play around with it. Um, foam board is cheap enough that you can cut it into strips and try it a bunch of times or, you know, try one big piece. So the possibilities are endless. If I can do it, I know that you can do it as well. Once I had the front to my liking, then I go in with the same sponge and I just cover the sides of my foam board. Now to get the wood effect and make it look as realistic as possible, the name of the game with this foam board wood technique is to layer. So once I did that last step, then I let that dry. I went back in about 30 minutes later with my ink Waverly chalk paint and I just kind of highlighted all those little spots the knots I made more lines I spread them out and just went in and really made it look more realistic See guys, I told you that my nails never stay perfect. I just wash my hands very often. Okay friends, so with Christmas vastly upon us, I've been really trying to think of a meaningful gift that I can give my dear husband, the man who has everything under the sun. With our busy lives, you guys, some days we have to divide and conquer. Because we both work such crazy hours and such long days, some days we don't get to see each other as often as we'd like. So this year, I am so excited to be giving him the gift of a book called StoryWorth. And StoryWorth is is the sponsor of today's video. StoryWorth is an online service that helps your loved ones in your life share stories through thought-provoking questions about their memories and personal thoughts. Every week, StoryWorth will email your person a different story prompt. Questions like, what's the bravest thing you've done or other topics you may have never even thought of? After a year, StoryWorth will collect all of the stories and combine it into a book, even including pictures, into a gorgeous keepsake shipped for free. StoryWorth is also the perfect way to honor your loved ones this holiday season. It's heartfelt, it's sentimental, and it's something you and your family can cherish forever. If you'd like to get started on your Christmas gift for the holidays today, go to storyworth.com slash allthingscrafty for $10 off plus free shipping or check the link in the description box below. Again, I'd like to thank StoryWorth for sponsoring today's video. So for the next tree, I give him a good coat of my Moss Waverly chalk paint. And then for the smaller of the trees, I give him a good coat of my Nimbus Waverly chalk paint or no, not Nimbus, mineral. But in the end, I go in with my Cashew Waverly chalk paint anyway on the edges. So if you're going to remake this project, then I would definitely paint your smaller tree with Cashew or any color that's kind of like a cream colored. Next, I take this scrapbook paper that has music notes and I didn't have a piece of scrapbook paper that was big enough to cover this or even 
remotely close and then I thought that I could use my transfer that was like music notes but I couldn't find that either so I just pieced together two pieces of scrapbook paper and then with the excess that I cut off I just filled in those spots on either side that was missing. Now to secure this down to our tree all I did was just uh, cover the entire back with my disappearing purple glue stick. I personally like this technique because it makes my, pap my paper <laughs> nice and smooth, but you can use Mod Podge. You can use anything that you have on hand. Um, glue stick is a personal preference. When you go to paint foam board, sometimes it likes to curl up. So that's exactly what mine did and it was kind of driving me nuts. So to try to make this lay flat, I took some large popsicle sticks and some hot glue and just kind of glued them to the back. You guys, I don't know what I thought that was gonna do. Um, it essentially did nothing. <laughs> so definitely save your glue and your popsicle sticks and skip that step. Uh -huh. But um, I then take my large chalk transfer and this is the woven stripe pattern sorry you guys i had a brain fart for a second and then i just use my dune chalk paste if you don't have chalk paste you can certainly use chalk paint now i personally like the paste because my transfers are going to last longer but if you're on a budget and you have to use chalk paint then go for it um, but i just transfer that on and then once i have it all covered then i peel back that beautiful image and i purposely let the middle dry a little bit longer because i wanted it to look rustic and um weathered so that's what I did if you guys want that look as well just let your chalk paint dry a little bit and when you pull it up or chalk paste I should say when you pull it up then um, it'll look distressed so I just continued that pattern at the top and then while that was drying then I painted the edges of this one with my cashew waverly chalk paint and yes little miss Bella is right here playing having a good time I've been trying to do this voiceover all day and I just came to the point where I said you know what it just is what it is and um, I have to do what I have to do so <laughs> once I had all of my trees the way that I like them I wanted to show you guys that little part because my my own mind drives me nuts you guys I rearranged that probably 30 times before I liked it and then once I finally liked it then I secured it down with some hot glue next I take a wooden star from Dollar Tree and I give it a coat of my antique wax and then I just wipe away the excess with a little cloth I had Next, I go in with my Cashew Waverly Chalk Paint and a chip brush, and I just distress that star, as well as our tree that we made look like wood. So originally, I glittered up some stars and I made a ton of bows and I just hated everything. I didn't like the way any of it looked. So I went back to the drawing board. I pulled out all of the most neutral ribbons that I had and just picked out the most beautiful ones that I thought looked well together. So this is I came up with so you can let me know in the comments down below what you guys think if you guys would have chosen different ribbon or would you have put stars at the top of the trees on all of them um, I just love to hear what you guys would do to your project so for the lace ribbon and the ribbon with the black edging I got that from Walmart and then obviously the jute I did a triple jute bow in the middle of the lace ribbon which again came from Walmart and I just glued them together and then glued those to the top of the trees. Next, I go in with a large popsicle stick and just kind of lay them out at the bottom of the trees. Um, I didn't want to just glue them down to like a base. I thought that they were missing a trunk. So even though in the end, you can't really tell, but I like the way that this looks. So um, if you don't really mind if it has a trunk or not, then you can just attach a base. But I decided to... Um, 
attach these with some hot glue and then next i take this little decor piece from dollar tree and i give it two good coats of my cashew on the top of it and then my camera literally died i have to get a new one it's on its way um and it's just been a nightmare so i lost the footage but all I did, you guys, was dry brush with my cashew on the edges of the bottom decor piece. I transferred on Silent Night, Holy Night onto my natural wooden tree with my chalk transfer. And I will leave all of the chalk supplies in the description box below in my link tree if you guys want to grab any of those. Um, all of my other links are in that link as well. So if you're looking for my Amazon store or anything like that. Um, but after that, then I just had these um, sparkly stars from Dollar Tree. So I glued those in the empty spots on the natural tree. And then I just secured that down to the base with some hot glue. And that was it for this, you guys. But I love the way that this turned out. I don't know if you guys realize how tall this is, but this thing is a good three foot or better. And I just love the way that it turned out. So let me know in the comments down below which tree in this tree trio is your favorite. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. If nobody has told you today, you are absolutely amazing and gorgeous. You are worthy and I love you with all my heart and soul and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Also, don't forget to check out StoryWorth. You guys, it's such a cool gift. So anyway, you guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.